Today is primary day in five states. The one drawing the most interest nationally is the Republican governor's race in Georgia. The Associated Press calling that race for incumbent Brian Kemp just about an hour ago. ABC 15's political reporter Mark Phillips says that race was circled on Governor Doug Ducey's election calendar. As co-chair of the Republican Governors Association, Ducey has a second job, getting incumbents reelected, even if it means going against Donald Trump. In Georgia, Republican voters are overwhelmingly choosing incumbent Governor Brian Kemp as the candidate they want in November's general election, dismissing Donald Trump's unfounded claim that Kemp helped steal the election from him. Governor Brian Kemp here, great state of Georgia with a great governor from Arizona, Doug Ducey. Kemp becomes the third Republican governor to win after facing a primary challenge by a Donald Trump-supported candidate. What Governor Ducey has done very successfully is focused on the things that matter most to regular people, not on things that matter to a former president who continues to litigate an election that he lost. Kirk Adams would know. He served as Governor Ducey's chief of staff and remains a political confidant. The idea to look forward and not back decided last November in Phoenix at the Republican Governors Association meeting hosted by Governor Ducey with a guest appearance by former Vice President Mike Pence. My advice tonight to Republican governors gathering here in Phoenix is going to be Continue to lead, continue to lead boldly and with principle. Like Georgia, Arizona is considered a swing state. Three candidates, Carrie Lake, Karen Taylor Robeson, and Matt Salmon, are all competing in the Republican primary. Voters are able to discern. They're able to understand and make choices about candidates. And we're, we're seeing that in Georgia today. I believe we're going to see the same thing in the state of Arizona. They say that uh, the movement is dying. I don't think this is dying at all. Kerry Lake is Trump's candidate in Arizona. The most recent poll by OH Predictive shows she's leading, but Karen Robeson is gaining. This week, Robeson is attending the National Republican Governors Association meeting in Nashville, where she'll be looking for endorsements and cash. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.